Crop circle. This word was produced for the communication language used. We do not question whether there are extraterrestrial beings. Michael Glickman represents our effort to decipher these messages. To explain briefly, unexplained photos and videos are constantly taken, and hundreds of them reach our network every year. There are explicable and fake ones, some of them are not photo or video scams. If only one of them were real, we would stop questioning its reality. The awareness of the crop circle in history can be seen in a newspaper report in 1678. The reason I researched this subject was to produce an art project. Food is the subject I use to combine the trilogy of people and space. As humans, what we eat is among the things that affect us the most. We live and produce with the energy given by what we eat. The ground looks empty. Starry image towards black central part. Bending towards work in the very middle of work. Warping of space. It is the tear that looks like a claw mark, visible in yellow in the upper left corner. Power white light is placed inside. Movements of the moon coming from the left to the middle. Colored with the colors of the moon. Predominantly gray. Cubic movements under the moon. It is the shape that looks the fluffiest in the work. It is inexplicable and its buildings reflect the crowd. The shapes on the right are unexplained, many of them unresolved. It is the only figurative figure standing there on the right side. It is flooded with water and there's soil underneath it. The selection of unexplained shapes has all been carried out in the fields, to the fields that people built for food. Colors and shapes change more aesthetically. This is done by considering the real dimension of the study. Human-made and original productions are easily distinguished. We don't have the technology yet to make it original. As you can see in the video, the plantings lean over each other regularly without breaking any of them. The plantings continue to grow. How does this twist happen in such a short time? It is an event that takes place at night and takes about 30 minutes. We cannot explain what kind of technology or chemical phenomenon it is at the moment. In science magazines from the 1980s and 1990s, for example Science Illustrated, one could read reports suggesting that the plants were bent by something that could be microwave radiation, rather than broken by physical impact. The magazines also contain serious reports of the absence of human influence and measurement of unusual radiation. Today, this is considered to be pseudoscience, while at the time it was subject of serious research. At that time, it was also more likely that an unknown factor was behind the incidents, not least seen in light of the fact that GPS was not available to the public. A crop circle, crop formation, or corn circle is a pattern created by flattening a crop, usually a cereal. The term was first coined in the early 1980s by Colin Andrews. Crop circles have been described as all falling within the range of the sort of thing done in hoaxes, by Tainer Edis, professor of physics at Truman State University. Although obscure natural causes or alien origins of crop circles are suggested by fringe theorists, there is no scientific evidence for such explanations, and all crop circles are consistent with human causation. Formations are usually created overnight, although some are reported to have appeared during the day. In contrast to crop circles or crop formations, archaeological remains can cause crop marks in the fields in the shapes of circles and squares, but they do not appear overnight, and they are always in the same places every year. Nearly half of all crop circles found in the UK in 2003 were located within a 15 kilometers, 9.3 miles, radius of the Ave Berry stone circles. In 1932, the archaeologist ECC RWEN observed four dark rings in a field at Stoughton Down near Chichester, but could examine only one, a circle in which the barley was lodged or beaten down while the interior area was very slightly mounded up. In 1963, Patrick Moore described a crater in a potato field in Wiltshire that he considered was probably caused by an unknown meteoric body.
In nearby wheat fields, there were several circular and elliptical areas where the wheat had been flattened. There was evidence of spiral flattening thought they could be caused by air currents from the impact, since they led towards the crater. Astronomer Hugh Ernest Butler observed similar craters and said they were likely caused by lightning strikes. During the 1960s, there were many reports of UFO sightings and circular formations in swamp reeds and sugarcane fields in Tilly, Queensland, Australia, and in Canada. For example, on 8 August 1967, three circles were found in a field in Duhamel, Alberta, Canada. Department of National Defense investigators concluded that it was artificial but couldn't say who made them or how. The most famous case is the 1966 Tula Saucer Nest, when a farmer said he witnessed a saucer-shaped craft rise 30 or 40 feet, 12 meters, from a swamp and then fly away. On investigating he found a nearly circular area 32 feet long by 25 feet wide where the grass was flattened in clockwise curves to water level within the circle, and the reeds had been uprooted from the mud. The local police officer, the Royal Australian Air Force, and the University of Queensland concluded that it was most probably caused by natural causes, like a downdraft, a willy-willy, dust devil, or a water spout. Citation needed. In 1973, GJODGR's Director of Public Relations, Department of Defense, Air Office, wrote to a journalist that the saucer was probably debris lifted by the causing willy-willy. The first film to depict a geometric crop circle, in this case created by super-intelligent ants, is the 1974 science fiction film Phase the Fourth. The film has been cited as a possible inspiration or influence on the pranksters who started this phenomenon. Since the 1960s, there has been a surge of ufologists in Wiltshire, and there were rumors of saucer nests appearing in the area, but they were never photographed. There are other pre-1970s reports of circular formations, especially in Australia and Canada, but they were always simple circles, which could have been caused by whirlwinds. In 14 times David Wood reported that in 1940 he had already made crop circles near Gloucestershire using ropes. In 1997, the Oxford English Dictionary recorded the earliest usage of the term crop circles in a 1988 issue of Journal of Meteorology, referring to a BBC film. The coining of the term crop circle is attributed to Colin Andrews in the late 1970s or early 1980s. The majority of reports of crop circles have appeared and spread since the late 1970s as many circles began appearing throughout the English countryside. This phenomenon became widely known in the late 1980s, after the media started to report crop circles in Hampshire and Wiltshire. After Bowers and Corley's 1991 statement that they were responsible for many of them, circles started appearing all over the world. To date, approximately 10,000 crop circles have been reported internationally, from locations such as the former Soviet Union, the United Kingdom, Japan, the U.S. and Canada. Skeptics note a correlation between crop circles, recent media coverage, and the absence of fencing and or anti-trespassing legislation. Although farmers expressed concern at the damage caused to their crops, local response to the appearance of crop circles was often enthusiastic, with locals taking advantage of the increase of tourism and visits from scientists, crop circle researchers, and individuals seeking spiritual experiences. The market for crop circle interest consequently generated bus or helicopter tours of circle sites, walking tours, t-shirts, and book sales. It has been suggested that crop circles may be the result of extraordinary meteorological phenomena ranging from freak tornadoes to ball lightning but there is no evidence of any crop circle being created by any of these causes. In 1980, Terence Meaden, a meteorologist and physicist, proposed that the circles were caused by whirlwinds whose course was affected by southern England hills. 
As circles became more complex, Terence had to create increasingly complex theories, blaming an electromagneto hydrodynamic plasma vortex. No matter how much he tries to explain, it is not enough. In fact, it would be better to investigate what it is done for and what it means rather than how it is done. Crop circle with information about 1974 people. Crop circle with information about an unknown entity from 2002. We can see what information the summary contains in this visual.